Welcome to Mondays with Marvin. I'm Jennifer McDonald and today I'm going to show you how to make a cereal necklace. So what you're going to need for this is some kind of string or ribbon. You're going to need some kind of cereal that has a hole in it. So an example would be Fruit Loops or Cheerios or High Nut Cheerios or anything like that. If you do like Fruit Loops that come in many colors, you can also work with patterns and different things like that. So I'm going to use some colored Fruit Loops and I'm going to work on a pattern necklace. So I'm going to take my string and I'm going to tie a little bit of a knot in the end. And the reason I do this is because with kids, sometimes they like to move and then all of their cereal falls off and they're a little devastated and sometimes have to start over. So just putting a little loop with a knot on there, it gives that cereal something to stop to. So I'm going to work on an AB pattern um, that uses two different colors and make our necklace. You could do all of the different colors. You could do AABB, you could do ABC, lots of different choices on what you are using. So I'm going to use orange and blue because that's a lot of what I just pulled out. So I'm just going to go back and forth and take turns doing orange and then blue. So here you can see my AB pattern. A, B, A, B. And this is something that is great for working with children and their fine motor skills. You can do a sort with them before. Have them sort the different colors if you're going to be using more than one or more than two. Um, having them practice doing that sorting and then work on following that pattern as you go through. One fun thing about this project is, is if the kids are going along and they've realized they've made a mistake. I have two oranges in a row so they don't need to take them all off with the cereal. They can just bite it off. And your pattern's right back in order. So you can decide with your child if you want them to go all the way around, if they're just making the necklace from the front. And then you can tie the necklace around. And you can see that now I have a beautiful necklace. If your children have washed their hands before they started and are working on a clean surface, this would be great to send them outside to run around and they can have their snack right with them. So like I said, you could do an AB pattern or here's one that I used a shoelace earlier that I used all the different colors of the Fruit Loops to make a nice pattern that way. So lots of different um, extensions that you can do with your children. You could have them count all of the orange and then count all of the blue and then count how many are all together so 12 orange plus 12 blue equal 24. so lots of different fun things that you could do with making necklaces with different types of cereal so i hope this is another fun activity that you can do with your children this summer marvin and i love sharing different ideas with you don't forget to follow our youtube channel to get even more ideas and follow us on our social media pages. Thanks for joining today. Have a great day.